In 1 Chronicles chapter 24, we're given a long list of the descendants of Aaron and his sons, Eleazar and Ithamar. In verses 1 through 31, the divisions and duties of the priests are outlined. Temple worship was carefully structured without hindering the Holy Spirit or true worship. Priesthood duties were divided up in David's day into 24 divisions, 16 to Eleazar and eight of them to Ithamar. And we see in verse five how this was decided. It says, all tasks were assigned to the various groups by means of sacred lots so that no preference would be shown for there were many qualified officials serving God in the sanctuary from among the descendants of both Eleazar and Ithamar. Dividing things by lot was the ancient method of discerning God's will. And we see many times in scripture where this was used to sort out duties so that things like pride and jealousy might be avoided. We see a few examples of this throughout the book of First Chronicles where it mentions casting lots to determine issues such as work assignments. In the book of Joshua, he used this method to assign land to the tribes of Israel. Today, we as believers have no need to cast lots because God's Spirit lives within us, informing us and interceding for us. Let me encourage you today. Maybe you have a big decision you need to make. Maybe you just feel stuck or wore out and feel like it would just be easier to draw lots and be told what to do. Listen to what it says in Romans 8, 26 through 27. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. And he who searches hearts knows what is the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God.